Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I am Key and this is Key's Playing Life. So today we're going to be doing a um, budget with me for September. So we're going to open this and I am using a happy, a big happy planner layout. Um, I just prefer those better. This is a all-in-one planner. I have my daily planning in the front and my budgeting planner in the back. I do make my own inserts, but as of lately, I have been um, using a mixture of bought inserts as well as my own personal inserts. So, I am going to be redoing this because although this is my five-year plan, certain things here have changed so i will be um adjusting those numbers but just to give a recap real quick as of um as of september we have i mean as of august we have saved two thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars in our retirement slash forever home fund and we have saved $972 in our rainy day. And as far as debt, we've so far paid off two credit cards, but we still have and we still have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six credit cards to pay off. Um we will be getting back on track with paying the credit cards off. I kind of fell off on that because I was just trying to do a couple of other things. Um, as of as of late, the IRA fund only has $232 in it. Um, so many changes are coming up for 2021. And I can't wait to take you guys along. Um, so, we haven't um, put anything for September yet because we haven't saved anything. Because this is the, what? The beginning of the month. So, as a breakdown... Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to bring it over so you can. Okay, I'm taking a seat. So as of late, the mortgage is $7.99. The phone bill is $130. The electricity is $215. The gas bill is $38. Sewage, we don't pay anything on the sewage and water. Cable is $225. Um, auto insurance, I mean my car note is $424. It's actually $401, but I paid the $20 extra gas is $80 a month maintenance and it might go up this month as far as gas just because I did take on a fifth gig so um, it may take probably maybe 20 or $30 more in gas maintenance maintenance is $20 um, and that may be me doing a fuel treatment or something like that but I know next month I will be going to get an oil change so yeah um insurance is 218 and this went down because we switched insurance companies i decided to go with um uh geico um the children their allowances are 25 dollars each still their savings is 25 dollars each still and that's just because we take care of their haircuts hair styles nails pedicures manicures we take care of all that out of our own money so what they get in their allowance is what they get um also both of them make additional money besides this by doing chores and audrey um sometimes helps to watch tokyo um well she does watch tokyo monday through friday so um i pay her for that also um sometimes she can't do it and little red will come in here and he'll help out so i pay him a little something or if i want him to do an extra chore i pay him for that extra chore okay so also i have my hair and my nails and that's pedicures that's my nails that is um, my hair how much it costs to get my hair done this will probably go down this month because it's starting to get a little cooler and i in the fall months i typically wear wigs and not so much um braided hairstyles my hair is still braided under the wigs but it's not the braids that you would normally see so it doesn't cost as much it's just foundation braids so this number will go down a little bit um i'm gonna go 
back to the basics and get simple nails because I am finding myself paying a hundred dollars a month for nails and pedicures which to me is not bad um but and I don't want to go to a nail tech that's not doing quality work and then I'm still coming back getting my nails done every two weeks I get my nails done once a month and I think that's pretty good I think a hundred bucks is pretty good for me getting my hair done once a month because I literally get it done once a month um and my hair only gets done every two months so i think i'm doing good when it comes to that massage i have to have my monthly massage there's no doubt about that i have to have it i'm not giving it up i work five jobs to live the lifestyle that i want to live i will not give up my massages netflix netflix um, that's a must have in my house just because everybody in my household watches Netflix. I wish they had a yearly subscription thing. I think they do. I'm going to have to go check it, check on to check on that. And if they have a yearly service, yearly, um, pay service, I'm going to do that instead of paying monthly. I, f I find that when you pay yearly instead of paying monthly or annually, it's so even annually is cheaper, but I find paying yearly is cheaper than paying monthly um credit cards i plan to pay 287 dollars in my credit cards this month retirement i plan on putting 150 up for my retirement my savings 150 my personal savings 50 dollars um hubby's car note 152 these are subscription services such as wig slayers is a group i'm in that i love not giving it up kavana YouTube. I have to have YouTube ad free music. I just have to. Um, I think I have no because even my Pandora has ads and my Spotify, so I'll pay that seven dollars for YouTube. Um, Tokyo's preventive care. I pay $48 every month. Um, it's been saving me tons and tons of money considering the fact that he just got neutered he had to have pain medication he had to have anesthesia all that stuff had to be paid for and i only paid 48 dollars out of the pocket my ties i'll be paying 100 um actual income is 3263 dollars total expenses is 3289 now the thing about my ties is it's definitely going to be more um, I just need to proper, properly sit down and calculate how much more. Now, this is a breakdown right here of everything that has to be done for September. My tire rotations. Um, I'm going to reconstruct my budget. Um, I'm planning on getting my car painted. I'm narrowing it down to two colors. So, I need to price that. My goal is, I want to say 400 no eating out for the month of September, period. Um, I didn't want, I'm going to put in 40 hours with Grubhub. Um, my retirement, all that is put right here. My major money goal, that's a major money goal. My major money goal is to save $600. Also, I am entering into the 52-week challenge. And you're probably like, but the year is already up. If you have an app, on, if you have Play Store or even Apple, um, store on your phone they have apps 52 week challenges apps where you can set up the date you want to start i've set up the date i want to start which is september i mean which is august the 28th um so yeah i don't go by oh i'm going to start the beginning of the year no i'm going to start when i need to start and that's just what it is so moving on this is my calendar um and this is just a uh, at a glance look at how everything is going to be paid Householding utilities are in blue savings and ties is in pink credit card payments are in orange dog care is in green um, cash envelopes are in purple subscriptions are in red also i don't know why i put this here but i did but these are all the things that i need to do for the month of september when it comes to filming but yeah i you ladies have um you ladies and you guys have really helped me to be more organized when it comes to um my bills and what is what and the color coding definitely helps me 
get in alliance and alignment with what needs to be paid on what date what it is so if i see that I, if i see any writing in blue i automatically know if it's, it's a bill if i see anything in orange i automatically know that hey this is a credit card payment that's due on this day um so i want to thank the budgeting community um and the planner community for this because you and when you're budgeting you 90 95 percent of the time are using a planner to budget out of so thank you for the in the information is very much appreciated haven't i wrote down also here my bills checklist and this is just once everything's paid on the days that it's paid i check it off and even here i have it color coded so i don't know what is what but and i check it off every time i pay it my expense tracker my goal is to only keep it keep it at a minimum that is my goal um i am going on a no buy for the month of september is it going to be hard extremely hard but i'm really confident that i can do it um just because for august everything that i wanted in august i got so there's nothing that i need for september so i think that's what's going to make it a whole lot easier um with my spending and at the end i have a budget review to just kind of recap how the month went for me so yeah I just found that I don't need all those inserts and all those papers. I just need something that is straight to the point, something that is not so complicated. I can't do, I don't want it. I'm not going to do all that. Um, that was a uh, August um, budget. Y'all, we're not going to talk about August's budget. I went, I went in. So I'm going to get out of here and why, like I said, while I'm at work, um, I will be going back and redoing this because um, this is good. I just want to change the numbers here because can I make those numbers happen? Yes, I do feel like I can make those numbers happen, but I want to put it. But I mean, that would be me. Damn it. Excuse me. <laughs> that would be me almost working myself to a grave. And I'm not going to do that. Um, I will work hard and very hard. But I'm not going to kill myself um, doing a lot of things. And I just need to make more realistic numbers. Because yes, my household makes over 36000 a year. But we also have to live. And um, until I'm debt free, I don't think right now, especially going into 2021, I don't think 36000 for this year is for 2021 is possible maybe 10,000 maybe 15,000 but not 36,000 so I'm definitely going to be going over these numbers again and really really um, making it more realistic for for my family so yeah that is my budget guys that is my budget for September if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section right now <laughs> I'm not really doing I'm doing cash envelopes and sinking funds as far as like my sinking funds is like my savings and my rainy day. So those are my sinking funds right now. I don't have sinking funds for eating out and groceries and household stuff. I don't have um, sinking funds for that right now. Um, I will go back and look at some things because right now I buy cleaning supplies every six months. So that's why I don't have a need for household items but i think i will put in a budget for like toilet paper i will put it in there for my monthly toilet paper that we need because we buy cases of toilet paper from sam so we only need toilet paper once a month um so yeah i don't really have any cash envelopes except for me stuffing their uh kids envelopes with their funds and then me stuff stuffing my play money and my gas money so i will be doing cash envelopes on those but like i said it's not going to be many um i know people have all these cash envelopes and i did too as well when i um started but i just had to find out what works for my household and not follow a trend i had to really go in and do what was what was cohesive and conducive to my household so a lot of changes have been made with my budgeting as you can see um i'm going to get out of here remember to think smart and spend smarter and i'll see you guys in the next video bye